Hi everybody, welcome back to Chef's Diet Culinary Educational Series. I'm Chef Phil Andrea, I'm the Corporate Executive Chef, and today we are going to do some baking. Wow, this is the first time that we actually attempted to do some baking on film. So I'm really excited about this. And what I'm going to do today is show you how to make a two block compliant snack bar. And this is a fig snack bar, or you can use raspberry, but I'm going to show you how to actually do a fig fig bar right from from scratch so here we go um, what we need is a rolling pin and we need a mixer and a bowl and all the ingredients that you have seen here what I'm going to do is take some dried figs and some fresh figs if you don't have fresh figs don't worry you can always use the dried and you know that they're always available so what we want to do is just sort of like cut them as small as you possibly can be careful and we are going to place these dried fruits into a pan, saucepan or saute pan with some water in there. And what you want to do is just cover the figs with the water. And then they will begin to cook down and form a compost. And that's all there is to it. So little of this fig in here, and this is on high, and we'll let this begin cooking. Okay. Now we're going to take a small amount of fresh figs. Again, if you don't have the fresh figs, it doesn't really matter. You don't need it. It just adds a little bit more of a color contrast. And we just dice them up nicely. And remember, just follow the recipe. Remember, baking is a precise science. It's not something that you can sort of like create or have fun with. This is more more involved. Now we'll put a little bit of lemon juice into that for the tartness and our honey. Okay. And here's my little honey bear. And this really, really makes an excellent compote. You could do this with other fruits if you like to. This is how you make a compote if you were going to can or or, or peaches or apples or so here we are and I'm just going to place this on the other fire and you can see now what we do with this when this is finished we're going to let it cool come down to a compote reduction so there's fig lemon juice and honey in that and we're going to let it reduce down till it's nice and thick into a compote that's going to be the filling for our pastry so let's begin with the pastry this is a creaming method, and what we're doing is we're using a soy butter today. According to the recipe, right there into the pot, we're adding sugar to it, and what we will do is we will cream the brown sugar with our mixer. So it's nice and smooth. All right. The two stage method creaming and then we add the dry ingredients which is going to be the flour and the protein powder and this is what gives this snack its blockage it's two blocks with the protein powder so here this is nicely creamed together and now what we'll do is we'll add some of the egg white and a little vanilla there's our one ounce of egg white, our one ounce of protein sauce, and also our one ounce of protein powder. So this gives us our compliancy to the diet. Okay, now let's put our protein powder in. This is our dry ingredients, right there. And our flour, all at once. And some cinnamon powder. Now we're making the dough, and it looks to me as though our... Now we're making a nice dough. Now remember, it gets, you want this dough to be able to knead out. So 
so we can roll it out. Okay. Okay, now we'll, we have our batter already paddled out with our mixer. We're going to add a little more flour, which incorporates it to make it a little bit more pliable so we could, we could roll that, that dough out. So this is how we do it. Just keep folding it in till it becomes a dough. I'm sure you guys all made cakes at home. And this is really tasty. I just tasted it. It really is good. See that? Here we go. And that's nice and pliable. You don't need the mixer any longer now. Okay, so now we'll just take our, our ball of dough. Okay. Now, it's customary. You can take this and put it in a little wrap it with plastic wrap and pop into your refrigerator and let it chill a bit, but I can feel the, the fats, the oils that are inside, and that's working nicely. So if you work it a bit and knead it, you'll be able to get a little bit more elasticity to it. So that works very well. So let's take our dough over to this side of the table. So I'll just dust my table with a little bit of flour, keep it from sticking, roll it around, just like making a pizza. Okay, when you roll, just nicely roll from the from the middle out this way. It's about a quarter of an inch thickness. Okay, now this dough can be used later. Now what we're going to do is cut it into a square, just like that, and we'll cut it here. Cut it right here. Mm -hmm. We have another one. See how easy it just slips away? Sometimes it gets a little stuck, so just slip your knife right underneath, and that'll pick it right up. Okay, now, I'll go to my refrigerator. What I want to do is take some of this cold fig compote, and here it is cooked down. This is cooled, and what we're doing is just placing it right into the middle. Just like that. Fold it right over. And then just knead it together, just like this, into a little cookie cake. There we are. Press it together. Then we just transfer this to our cookie sheet. And we're going to bake it for, at 350 degrees until it's golden brown. Okay? So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay guys, let's give a check. It's been 20 minutes, 350 degrees, and I believe that our fig bars are ready to go. Oh, they look wonderful. Yes, they are. You can see, nice and golden brown. And here we are, we'll just place them this way. Place that way. And this is a two block snack. Remember, the protein is in the pastry, and the Carbohydrates are in the compote. So this recipe, as all my other recipes, can be found on chefsdiet.com. And I want to thank you all again for visiting with me. And uh, have a wonderful day and bon appetit.